Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host today, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you all back to Retropolis, the mighty Metropolis, where we are going back to our roots. For you see, we have now one as the scientist, we have one as the general, and the builder, and the navigator, but the merchant is still missing his own victory. So clearly we need to fix that, and I thought, you know what, if we're going to do that, we might as well do it properly, by heading on over to the forest, and starting back with our route, with maximum popu population, because I am like that. And I know the game a bit better now. So, what's among the first things we need to do? Well, first we need to place a house. Place the gray, the get the grain. I need to get better at play at built using the gather cards before everything. And we must take adv full advantage of our leader ability. That is going to be the main one. I think what's also impossible, uh, important to make sure we what I'm gonna call it take advantage of is the fact that we can re-roll cards for merchants and I think I never I never used that once the last time I played the merchant so I think that's something I need to make sure I actually do properly right what do you offer 20 gold not yet Overturn. Discard your hand. Plus one card for every hand. Meh. Fire station. Maybe. Bankruptcy. Plus one card until you have X cards in your... Six cards in your hand. Yeah, that's a use all your money card, though, is the issue. I'm just gonna go with the fire station immediately, because, you know, it's just a building, and... Buildings are useful. Let's wait with this fire station. Let's see what you have to offer. What do you have in... Every 120 seconds, plus 40 seconds to service time of all allies. That's actually really good. When you, when the next ability leader is used, add two golden arrows to your hand. Ah! Deal damage equal to tax. Well, I need the wall at the very least. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab the guard, you, put you there. <laughs> Discard to gain a bit more money, which I'm pretty sure I just spent on the guard, so it's irrelevant. And then I'm just going to try and get a legendary building. Bakery. Every 60 seconds, minus 40 ethereal cost to all cards in hand. I don't know if that was legendary, but I know that was worth it. We're then going to grab the inn. And then the defensive wall, because I definitely need that. And because of that, I'm going to grab a repair as well. Because I quite like... Actually, I should grab the gather. That's a really good money card. Alright, I've got my baker now. So that'll make things cheaper and easier for us. Right. All you guys over there... And then, we build ourselves an inn, an expansion card. Actually, yes, I think I will take the expansion card. And now, we have also expanded, meaning we can get plus three tax for every advisor you hired. Ooh. That gives me an incentive to get a lot of advisors. Sure. We don't normally have an issue with what I'ma call it. Housing towards the end of the game. Do I wanna play the expansion to the inn or to the bakery? Let's see, what do they both do? 60 seconds minus 40 cost. You know what, let's make it to the inn. I feel that'd be more important. Every two minutes, gain a minute. Yeah. Yeah. A collapsed city, you must own at least 100 gold. Peck you. I don't care. Give me another defensive wall. And then a house. I definitely need that. Right. Apply the ethereal cheapening. 50, 50, 50. 
I'm not actually sure if expanding as quickly as I am right now is a good or a bad thing. But what I do know is that we're a greedy merchant, so people should be playing, paying death taxes. Alright, what can we get from the new one of you? A level 2 defensive wall. Not bad. Not bad. But other than that, not particularly the best stuff. Discard one card's labor after 30 seconds plus 70 gold. I mean, that's technically better than what we ha the current ones we have. I kind of want to refresh despite the level 2 wall. But the, le the level 2 wall might just be that important. We don't have any good military cards in this, which is my issue. Yeah, I'm going to refresh despite the wall. Plus one tax for every four Rattison. I mean, I like the sound of that. Fletcher, rear rank, when deployed, adds one golden arrow card to your hand. Well, I mean your rear rank, which makes you, like, the regular guard that we have, which is good. Caravan guard. Damn it. Clicked way too soon. Do I want another Night Watch? Just because of the simple fact that they don't cost any Rattisons? Yeah, I think so. They're cheap cannon fodder. What? Plus one tax for every four Rattisons. So that gives me incentive to, you know, just expand people. I'm going to get these expansion cards because they're definitely the rare ones. Heal target group for 30 and plus 10 seconds to service time. Oh, that's a little different because that's healing and increased service time, which is what we like. With the merchant, you really just want to play your cards really quickly, don't you? But the expansions are rare, are, aren't common, and we want to be able to... I'm sorry, what's this? Sir, someone from the Merchant Guild wants to speak to you. The visitor is one of the insi is one of the insisted you should collect. The visitor is the one that insisted you should put collect death taxes from surviving families of dead soldiers. But you were just joking back then. Sir, make a bu budget for me, and I will aid you in pricing policies and our thing. Upgrade all economy oh, eco economic cards in your deck when you hire. Okay. Buy card from other leaders. You know what? I get more tax for this. It upgrades my current stuff. I'll get the economic guy. Thank you. 22 tax. Not bad. That means you do 22 damage. Which, while at the moment, might not be the highest. Should I upgrade the tax office or the bakery? I'm going to upgrade the bakery. I want to see what happens. Minus 60 cost every 60 seconds. So kind of the same. Alright, you, Fletcher, Night Watch. And then as for the Fletcher. Oh, big rat's coming. There we go. Nice. Landslide, rattling noises. The ground quakes as trees approach your city. You should run for your life, but you are paralyzed with shivering feet. When you thought everything was over, the trees unexpectedly stopped in their tracks. <laughs> no sweat. Now what? Re-establish the area. Spend 30% of current gold. Leave the area unaffected. Enemies now approach the city from, from only one direction. You cannot expand your territory any further. Huh! I'm going to go with this. Minus two seconds to the tax cycle. Oh, that's a really good one for us. But like, you cannot expand at all. Does it mean like at all? Like on either side? And if it does, it might. Uh, I might have just screwed myself. But we are in the forest. So we are able to, you know, use expansion buildings. And then from those expansion buildings, if I learn how to... What am I call it? Come on, you cannot be the only one. What happened to enemies only being able to approach from one direction? 
Wandering Knight. Every kill, minus two seconds to service time. Uh, well, I mean, you do cost absolutely no... What am I call it? So, screw it. And... As for this, can we just all run over there? Because... I feel like I'm going to be a little village buying a ton of mercenaries at this point. Alright, so I'm going to buy one defensive wall and see what happens. Then I'm buying the honey drink, because goddamn do we need that. For the next 15 seconds, minus 30% damage taken to target group. Ooh, that sounds good. Redistribution, minus 5 seconds redraw cooldown when this card is discarded. Also useful. I'll definitely take another Fletcher. I like the Fletcher. I need a legendary card, military card, because that's the Golden Guard. The Golden Company. Perfect. Yeah, it's not letting me expand, so I don't know why they're attacking from both sides. Unless when they said they only attack from two, one side, it meant literally they can only attack one side at a time. Which might be what they actually meant. Either way, it's good, because it means I only need to defend one side. Leader level up, choose a card, get a house. Breed. If I'm not allowed to build buildings, I need breed. Discard three cards, plus one Rattison. That's also be good. In fact, that might be better. Yeah, I think that's better. It's cheaper. It means I can use it without having Rattisons, which I'm gonna be which are gonna be spent on the Watama call it and what I'm yeah. Fermented goods. A foul stench from the cellars under the town hall caused you to investigate. The results were quite disheartening. Leader, it appears all the cheese in storage has gone rotten. I'm afraid we may have to throw them all out. You hold your back your tears and order the cheese to be moved for disposal. You see, then see one of the guards carving out a chunk of the smelly cheese and eating it. As you were about to tell him to spit it out, a surprised look formed on its face. Wait, this is actually- this is pretty good! The taste is actually richer than before. You finally- you finally try a piece yourself and it appears he's right. For the next 30 103 minutes, plus 3 max HP to all deployed allies when a cheese card earns more than 90 gold. Odd. But I don't lose my economy tree thing, so sure. Subsu! Oh, it means I actually have to fully discard three cards in order to gain the Rattison. Okay. Oh, it still gives me the choice. Okay, well, I'm... I'll discard another golden company and... A guard. No, yeah, a guard. Then I can apply the night watch and the honey drinks. And then a caravan. Actually, I'll discard the caravan with my leader power. There we go. Okay. Drink your wine, my people! If we're only... 50% chance to hire an adventurer advisor. Upgrade one random card when you expand your city with a defensive wall. I can't do that. I don't gain enough benefit for that. We'll go for the regular money. We'll go for the regular stuff. But we are definitely going to need these expansions. What should I expand next? Probably a tax advisory. Plus... Plus two tax for every six Rattisons. I'm not sure if that's a bet upgrade or a downgrade. Let's see. Six, 12 gives four, and for you, 12 gives three. So it's an upgrade, but such a minor one, it's in irrelevant. What have we got? Woodcutter. Minus 30% cost of buildings. Not bad. What about the legendary cards? The Noble. 
Receives plus HP equal to 10% of, of gold spent. I do like that. Golden Archer. Rear rank. When deployed, plus one, plus one seconds to remaining service time for every tax. Oh, my good chap. You're never going to get fired. You're never going to leave if, what I, if I do that. I am definitely taking you. To be fair, the merchant is probably the best guy to be able to do this. Because of the simple fact of... Well, we don't exactly need Rattisons as the... <laughs> as the merchant, because of the fact we just... What am I call it? Feed this idiot to the lizards. Uh, plus 60 seconds between next enemy waves. Does that mean... You know what? Minus one gold isn't too bad because my units are temporary. But then again, 60 seconds basically means all those units I just summoned are pointless because of the fact of what they do. So, but I don't want to lose half my gold because I am the merchant. Feed the idiot to the lizards. We don't accept mercy. Ha! What do I have available here? Drugstore. Whenever you discard a card, heal all allies for two. Oh. Not bad. Arrow shower. When this card is discarded, add three arrows to your hand. I like it. Marauder. When deployed, minus one max HP for every one cost of this card. Minus current to zero. So make my cards cheaper. You become really good. I think I'll take the drug store. St the drug store. They're actually a cheap building as well. And then I'll take the mercenary just because it's a solid card. And then the Marauder, just because, you know, I don't need bloody Rattisons or anything. Smithy! Oh, yes, please. I'm glad I bought that. So every time I discard a card, right? Everyone heals four. Yeah, I need the expansion on those drugstores. That can work wonders. Just because it includes when I discard due to end of turnness and whatnot. Well, here come the weasels. With the, and but the weasels do have the de actually. I it, as I can't use it, I might as well delete the defensive wall. That's not actually a bad idea. Delete the defensive wall so it stops appearing. Ah, Smithy's available already. Okay, let's see what the upgrades are. You increase the service time, making you quite god tier. You give me more Rattisons, also pretty good. You are practically the same, but increased cost. You get a solid upgrade. I love how most of the cards I can upgrade are just completely... What am I call it? I just realized none of these guys actually have offense. Interesting. I think I'll take the honey drink. Just cause more healing and more service time. Namely the service time. The thing is, at the moment, our Forces are pretty damn good. 160 gold whenever this card is discarded. Minus 110 gold gain when this card is discarded. Honestly, sure. The issue is, my soldiers are... Obviously... Temporary. So I need to increase the ways of increasing their service time. As much as possible. But other than that, I think we're solid for the time being at least. And always click the in whenever I can. Mm. That's a tad concerning the way that happened. Oh, 
What do we got here? Friend. Minus 100% leader ability cooldown when the merchant arrives in town. Very good. Capitalism. For the next 15 seconds, add one... Add, copy the next card, cards and add them to the cartoon pile. Commission. Upgrade random cards when this is played. Send it... All that's crap. I'll take the friend. More advisors means more tax, meaning my golden arrow does more damage. Hey, look there! Someone to give me money. You're going to arrive, allowing me to deal immediately. There we go, and thus I can buy from you. Perfect! What do we get? An inn! I don't even need to look at that. Bribe. Deal t damage equal to 20% of spent gold to the target. Bribe. <laughs> Just hit them with the money. And then besides that, I think I'll take the golden shower. The arrow shower. I almost said something very bad. <sighs> but then I'll immediately level up the inn. Because we do want that. And because they can't attack us from this side, I can put the inn right there. Because that is a three slot area. Perfect. And like that, we've practically sorted our... What am I call it? The majority of our... Stuff. We've got a very tiny... I need a repair. I definitely need a repair. A central army. We're overlooking the training of the militia. The bureaucrat came by and offered some advice. Pack leader, would it be not more, would it not be more efficient to create some sort of centralized army instead of having this ragtag militia with their own private weapons? An army of our own sounds great. Uh, what can we upgrade? How about one of the one of these mercenaries we have available to us? Ah, I like the sound of that. But dear God, do they become expensive? You know, I think I'll upgrade the archer because the archer's good. Because that is our main damage dealer. So we can pay for the extra... Yes, upgrade the leader level. So we will be able to pay for the, ser the actual proper thing. Because the thing is, that gives 60 service time. That gives 60 service time every two minutes. And thus, when we combine it with this honey drink every now and then... Basically... <laughs> Nothing will ever leave. Alright, let's activate my bakery. And then we can start firing some arrows. Yep. Wait. Hold! Fire! And then... Fire! Well, what do we get? An expansion. Always the expansion. Our buildings are limited, thus we need to expand as much as possible. Alright, Smithy, what can I level up? If I upgrade this, what does it become? Absolutely nothing, because I'm going to use it immediately. That's not a concern. As for you, if I upgrade you, you become more money. Decent. What about you? Add five golden arrow cards to my hand. I think... What does a wandering knight become? You know what? I want to upgrade the mercenary because it's just a simple, solid card. I feel. Plus, it's in my hand. They're trying to break me down again. Break it down again. When that wall finally breaks, I'm in the crap. So what do I want to upgrade? I can upgrade... I've upgraded the bakery in the inn. I, if I upgrade the tax, I get more money. And honestly, if I upgrade the drug, I'm not sure what will happen other than we probably heal more. And there's only so many cards I can have, so... Yeah, upgrade the drug. Alright, what do we get? No advisor, which is annoying. Legendary card. Bizarre. Every 120 seconds you may sell one card in your deck. No. 
honestly, I think I'm better off with another golden archer because, you know, they're our main damage dealers. So what do you do now? For every discarded card, heal all allies by three. Hmm, okay. Ah, a new advisor! Glorious, I love my talent pool. They manage to always sap out more taxes from the people. Because the people understand that the more that, they, that we have, the more I need them. Minus one to three enemies. Nice. Minus 20 seconds to leader ability. Oh, that means a lot of money. But minus one attack to enemies was really good, considering they can only attack from one side. Barbarian is always good. I'm grabbing that. What have you got? Another inn. I don't think I can place another inn. I need the repair, though. If I, I could place the inn right there, so theoretically, another inn might not be the worst. I'd prefer something like an arrow tower or something. But then again, I guess we might not need them. Definitely not play, getting any other buildings, though, because this is our last... Wait, get a military card. Noble. No. I like the noble, but we're not using the noble this time. So I'm in the Golden Company. Repair the wall. Uh, yeah, might as well summon the Marauder. Why not? How many rats do I have on this wall? 37. That reminds me of when I played the bloody military guy. Isn't a million soldiers just bad? And the fact that whenever I discard cards, I heal just makes things, you know, even better. Here we go. Another expansion. What are the options I get here? Golden Tower. Every one second spends 1% of gold and launches an arrow that deals damage equal to gold spend. spent. Ha. Huh. But it actually spends the gold. Huh. I think I might be better off with genuine soldiers. Either way, expansion. Get more stuff. Alright, bye bye, noble. You are cool, but not the most wanted thing in the world. Now I upgrade the inn. So I don't have to waste the expansion on the inn. Well, I feel like we're some just like random roadside attraction right now. With the fact of how much... Or how, how many inns we have. How many... What our actual population is. We're just a tiny little village at the moment. You know what? Let's upgrade my next drug shop. More healing. The fact I could make it so that they only attack me from one side, I think is the best thing ever. Gold plane, plus 50% cost and plus 100% max HP to all military cards in hand. Yeah, I think that's better than anything I've got at the moment. Just because if I can get it on the right things, it's amazing. So, equivalently, every... What am I call it? Yeah, plus 100% HP, not bad. So basically at the moment, every two minutes, I earn three minutes of service time. Meaning, logically, the only time they die, they lose them, is if they die. As it should be. I'm paying them for a reason. They can do their goddamn jobs. What do we get next? Another expansion, gold, or a house? Well, I don't have anywhere I can put a house, so I might as well go with the expansion. Actually, no, I don't think I got anywhere I can put a house. 
Look above you, the world tree is spreading its seeds. The bureaucrat raises his long finger into the sky. The fleet, the seeds floated through the air, and the sight was glorious to behold. You could do nothing but gape at its beauty. To imagine that the world grew from one of these seeds, that's when a seed suddenly landed in your mouth. Wait, this taste. Plus one card for every seed clicked. <laughs> what? What can I buy from you? Caravan master. Every 20 seconds plus 5 seconds service time. Meh. I'm not bothered. I'm at, despite the gold paint being quite good, I think I'm going to refresh this one. Raise tax. I like the sound of that. Plus 10 seconds for service time whenever discarded. Sure. Is there any gold abilities? I, there is gold abilities. Okay, let's try and get a gold ability. Redistribution minus cooldown timer. Fair enough. So what does the gold paint upgrade into? Plus 150% health. Ooh, not bad. Definitely going to upgrade the golden archer again, though. Right. Oh, well, that looks big and fancy. Uh... Guys, get over there. Guys, I know it's scary, but kill it. Glorious. Plus 20 gold for 3 plus... 3 second plus 20 tax for percent gold. Oh. Plus 100 gold whenever you remove a card. Eh, that's boring. I'll take the extra 3 seconds. Sure. Now I need to rebuild the inn because, dear god, the inn is the most important thing. Plus 3 cards whenever you discard 10 cards. Ooh. Not bad. I like that. Another advisor, more tax, more damage. And now I can click the butterflies. Marvelous. Right. Let's summon the guard. Give them more service time. Raise the taxes, which frankly I should have done before. What needs upgrading next? What do you become? 75% tax, okay. Heal the wall. Honestly, heal the wall might be the big card I need right now. We are a humble little trading village. With a lot of hired guns. <laughs> 57 rats. <laughs> oh look, golden archer, golden archer. They cost me a hundred gold, but who cares? They're worth it. Bring on the lizards. I have 57 different rats. Hmm. I'm gonna get another expansion. There's still more ways we can expand. <laughs> Hello, my advisor. What do you have to say? The syringe. Sure, I'll do it. All I need for the syringe is to find the golden company and then just give it to them. What does upgrading a syringe do? 150% max HP. Not bad. Not bad. Honestly, it's probably about time to upgrade the Golden Guard, I think. The Golden Company, I think. They're probably our main beefy frontliners, after all. Right, what buildings need expanding now? Oh, I know! How about the wall? Yeah, that's probably a good thought, me. I have a wall of 63 rats. Because there is only one entrance into my town, and I love it. But I'm also reaching the point where there is just no point to any of the cards I have. Because I don't want to remove any cards. I don't need a house, and... I guess I can grab dice. It's the only thing I can do, because I can't exactly build a watchtower anywhere. Ah, what do we have here? A plaza. Tempting. No. 
Honey. Capitalism. I don't really care about any of these things. Huh. Refresh. What do we get? Redistribution. That I actually probably could use. Plus 30 seconds service time to talk. I have enough service time. I don't need more. The guys are never going home as it is. Actually, I'll take the overturn, because the overturn's not too bad now. Because the main problem with the overturn was the fact <laughs> there wasn't the most to do. Okay, what's this? Ancient artifacts. A crowd gathered in the square in the square since early in the morning. Since early in the morning. A crowd had gathered in the square since early in the morning had caught your eye. And you decided to take a look. Apparently one of the civilian search parties had found something and were putting it up for auction. Once they see you approach, one of the rat one of the rats runs up to you with a grin. Would you look at this? Pr a priceless artifact found at the bottom of the swamp. I'm giving you a special chance to buy this immediately. I'm sure you can recognize its proper value. Duplicate one of your cards. Duplicate a random card. Ah, you know what? I got 17,000 gold. I don't mind choosing a card to duplicate. Screw it, I'll just duplicate a golden archer. They're always good. Wow, that's a lot of stuff that you just gave me. Golden paint. We pay for the best in this town. And the best tends to be whatever the hell is available to me at the time. Upgrade the gold paint. Our warriors will be laced within with gold. Oh my god, it's a frog. I remember these thingamajigs. Peck the frogs. Yeah, damn straight. Peck the frogs. What have we got? Plus one bounty for every military card in your deck. 15 tax. You, you can now feel fear and respect wherever you take a walk through the city. Whenever you go, there is only silence and furtive glances. On one such day, on your usual evening stroll, a suspicious little rodent dashed past the guards and knelt before you. Pack leader, you raise the city from the ashes of prosperity. Please, accept this humble gift, a crown laced with jewels. You deserve to be as king. Let us pay you more taxes. Plus one, plus eight to all military cards. Oh, Jesus, hell, what kind of... What am I calling is that? That's insane. 68 rats. I want to reach a hundred soldiers. I don't think it's impossible. In fact, I think it to be potentially highly probable. Look at them just fall and die before us. It's so nice. Oh, what should I upgrade? I feel like I should upgrade one of my night watches. They're actually serving me pretty well. Do I even need these golden arrows? With 74 soldiers at my wall. I don't need an expansion at this point either. What I need is money. Lots and lots of money. I'm not even sure if I need to summon anything else at this point. The only reason I'm not just going call, call, call is because of the very simple fact that I want to hit a hundred soldiers. And I can only hit a hundred soldiers if I take my time with everything. I mean, look at the amount of arrows just flying out right now. And how much damage we seem to actually take. It's just nuts. It's just nuts. Hello, you. What do you have available to me? Buildings? I don't need buildings. Economy cards? I'm not even sure if I need those right now. What else you got? Ooh, skill cards. Ooh, another gold paint. I do like gold paint. And a golden company. I'll definitely take that. Distraction. Minus 100% move speed to, to enemy units within range 3 for 10 seconds. Sure. Why not? Bribe. I kind of want to grab bribe just so I use it on the final boss. That'd be kind of funny. 
I want to point out we've got 86 rats on the wall, but we have a ratison, but we've got 29 ratisons in this town. It's why I say we're just a, a village with a ton of mercenaries. Because that is literally all we are. Butterfly! Click the butterfly! There we go! Clown card. Not bad. What legendary cards? Another golden archer. But you do give me more tax. But do I need more tax? No. I need more mercenaries. Up the taxes. Summon these, which get more service time based on my taxes. Let's upgrade the golden the golden archers I just summoned. Cool. Now, oh, we can then use those said golden archers. And then, repair a wall, because screw it, and just delete a bunch of cards for all the money in the world. We're at 90 soldiers. We're getting there. We're getting there. So now we got some lizard men that's appearing at our doors, like cracking things on the coast. Fair enough. They, may they suit themselves. Coronation. Your eyes fixate on the crown in front of you. It all ends when you place it on your head. Escaping from the destruction of Ratchopolis and restarting civilization was not e an easy journey. Through it all, the cherished traditions and memories of previous greatness endured and will continue as you live on. However, the world is still a dangerous space, dangerous place. Something was coming. You could feel it. It is, is it, it is time for the king to live up to his duty. Raise the taxes for duty. 40 tax. Max HP of all military units currently deployed is double. And we got people which, like, have 200 HP. And... I wish I could click them to see what they do- what they got. I love how I click that button once and I go from 50k to- to 70. Ooh, a golden company with some gold paint. Oh, nice! There's so many soldiers here, I can't tell who's who. Our walls are ridiculous, with the amount of crap that's on them. I want to use the syringes, it's just a case of... There's never a particularly good time to, because I can't see the things I want to use them on. Achievement, millionaire, acquire max gold. Yep, I've certainly done that. I love the chests over there as well. All right, well, I'm just summoning soldiers now because, you know, I want my, my stuff. What do we got? Mercenary and a marauder. Not bad, reroll. Mercenary, got him anyway. Marauder, got him anyway. Night watch, sure. Jewel, sure. I do just have infinite rerolls now, and don't need to worry about any form of money. You know? So you know what? I am going to behave that way, and just see how many things I can get out before the, before the final wave. What should I upgrade? You know what, I upgraded the other mercenary. Let's upgrade this one. The mercenary's solid.
also occurred to me I never real upgraded my other tax office. So let's just do that. Well, hello there, big giant basilisk hydra ma majiggy. It looks like you're losing- you're already on a h up off your health before I even finish my sentence. And you're dead. <laughs> you know, when they can only attack from one side and you've got soldiers which are infinite because you you use hired mercenaries and then you just make your entire city based around providing housing for those mercenaries. I have like 120 people on those walls and I can only have 30 ratisons. That means three, uh, three quarters of my military is hired mercenaries that never go home because of three different level two inns. <laughs> oh god. Well. I don't know what to say to that. That was. That was fucking nuts. Oh god, I love that. Well, we won as the merchant. Who did we unlock? The Mercer. Ethereal minus 20 cost to random card whenever you play a card. Actually, pretty good that. I like that. Oh, but it looks like I'm still one, uh, like, one or two games off the Shaman, so. But we've won as everyone now, so let me know in the comments down below who you want to see me play next. Uh, because 20 max HP. Oh, interesting. Because what have we got? We got two victories in the coast, one victory in the desert, one and two in the forest. So, yeah. Let me know as who you want me to play as, or if there's like a gimmick you want me to play as, like I can only do such and such, or such and such. You know? Let me know. But, everyone, it looks like I'm all out of time for today's episode, so what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I have been your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.